The corrupt and highly political Justice Department just appointed a super radical left special counsel. I've been going through these investigations and hoaxes and scams from the day I came down the escalator at Trump Tower. And you'd really say enough is enough. All right. So who is this Jack Smith? Democrats desperately wanted to a turn to the man who was just appointed a special counsel for the investigations into former President Trump's. But Smith's background has done nothing to silence the accusation that the DOJ has become a weaponized and politicized institution. Joining us today, Matt Whitaker, former acting attorney general uh, for the Trump administration. We hope to be joined shortly by Alan Dershowitz. Uh, Matt, it was great to see you down there at Mar-a-Lago for yeah. that speech when the president made those comments. Um, I want to start by asking, what do we need to know about who Jack Smith is? And, and, but more importantly, I want to start with this. What was the rationale behind appointing a special prosecutor in the first place? Could they have just continued to investigate? Why did they have to, or why did he say he named a special prosecutor? Yeah, well, he said the, uh, the you know, public interest, which is a, a bizarre um, uh, standard. It's in the, you know, federal DOJ's rules uh, that, you know, appointing one has to be in the public interest. But really, it, I think Merrick Garland thought he was putting some political separation, some cover for himself in the Department of Justice by appointing Mr. Smith uh, as the special prosecutor, as the, as the special counsel. But I think in this case, uh, based on what we're learning more and more about him, you know, it just appears to be just a political hatchet man um, that ultimately is still going to be responsible to the attorney general and the attorney general is still going to be in charge of this investigation. So that it doesn't really matter. Is that is that what I'm hearing you say? That it doesn't yeah. matter that it's he's it, that his title is special prosecutor. He still he could have done the same thing. Yeah, it doesn't, and for two reasons. One is he's going to build a team that's mostly going to be people that are already at the Department of Justice, and he's going to use FBI agents that are already working on this case. And so you know, it, it is um, you know, while it's not lipstick on a pig, it is um, really just Merrick Garland. Garland using a sophistry to try and make it look like there's an independence of the special counsel only because they can't be fired uh, for anything but cause. But ultimately, you know, we all know that, you know, Joe Biden has told Merrick Garland publicly, and we've seen this, that, you know, he's not working hard enough to get Donald Trump. And this is Merrick Garland's response to the president. And, you know, it's obviously it's the attorney general is trying to, uh, you know, save his bacon. Uh, so to speak, in order to, you know, please his boss, who is, you know, appears to be running for president against Donald J. Trump. So I want to ask you about, about this guy, Jack Smith. Uh, yeah. He is the guy that uh, went after former Virginia Governor Bob McDonald. And he goes after McDonald, claiming that he, he had taken stuff inappropriately. The Supreme Court then overturns everything that he went after him on 7 nothing. Um, so is this the, I mean, I guess the point is, if you're going to pick a guy to do this, a highly political thing, go after the president of the United States and announce this for president, I, I just, I was sort of struck by thinking, is this the guy that, that you really want? It seems to me that you're going to get a lot of blowback for picking a guy like this. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, he's, you, you need somebody that's ab above reproach that has uh, the bona fide qualifications and experience to do this job in a really a nonpartisan and objective manner. And what we're, as we're getting a clear picture of, of this guy, we're learning in addition to the McDonald uh, prosecution and being overturned unanimously by the Supreme Court on a really a, a bogus legal theory in the prosecution in that case. Uh, we're also learning more that his wife may be a donor to Joe Biden, that you know she may have produced a film uh, about uh, uh, Michelle Obama. And so there's, you know, we're starting to get a little bit more of a picture that this guy may be just a dyed in the wool leftist, um, you know, again, that is solely and sole and important. You know, his duty is to get Trump, which is, I think, what prosecution should not be about. Yeah. I want to welcome in uh, Alan Dershowitz, a professor. Good to see you. Uh, I want to ask you um, to comment on some of the comments that Bill Barr, the former attorney general, made. Take a listen to what he had to say, and then I want to get your reaction on the, on the backside.
I personally think that they probably have the basis for legitimately indicting the president. I don't know. I'm speculating. speculating yeah. but, but given what's gone on, I think they probably have the evidence that would check the box. They have the case. And if they have it, should they? That's a decision for... Uh, if you were AG, would you? I'm not going to get into that. So, Professor, based on... He, for some reason, he thinks that they have it. And then the question is, should they? So can you react to both for me? Sure. First of all, 90 percent of the people who you can check the box never get prosecuted. Prosecutorial discretion is the essence of the job of the prosecutor. What if they conclude that technically he violated some classification or possession of material, but that what he did was no worse than what Hillary Clinton did? A prosecutor would normally say, as they said in the Hillary Clinton case, Look, this has never happened before, so maybe technically, but we're not going to do it. What's wrong with a special prosecutor is that they come with a target. They're not asking to find out if crimes were committed. They're focusing on one person, and they're asked to find if there's any crimes about that one person. And there's something very dangerous about focusing on the person first and then coming up with the crime second. So I'm not a big fan of special prosecutors. Okay, so weigh in on the indictment part. Just because they, they did this, does that mean that they have, that they're likely to indict him? And should they, is I think the question he was actually asked. Well, I think the question of should they uh, has been pushed a little in the yes direction by the appointment of a special prosecutor. Because if with Garland, people could say, look, he's indicting the man who's going to run against the person who appointed him and can promote him and can promote other people in the Justice Department. If there's a special prosecutor, that political element of it uh, is, is muted. And so I think that this increases slightly the chances. But again, I want to emphasize, just because the boxes are checked off doesn't mean that a person should be uh, indicted. You have to look at the range of cases, uh, the Sandy Berger case, the Hillary Clinton case, other cases. And you, if you're going to go after a presidential candidate, there should be a smoking gun, particularly if it's the opposing right. side going after a political candidate. It should not be a weak case. It should be an extremely strong, compelling case. Professor Dershowitz, Matt Whitaker, thank you both for joining us and breaking this down. There's going to be a lot more to talk about in the coming weeks, so thank sure. you.